I am like a super nerd when it comes to uh, event locations. Even if I'm not, if I don't have an event like coming down the pipeline, I'm like still constantly looking. Uh, I'm kind of always searching, you know, through Google Maps, like going through neighborhoods that I haven't been in to like kind of see what's there. But generally the type of events that I throw kind of fall into three tiers. There's, there's indoor events that end at 11. There are outdoor or indoor events that you know, we'll go past last call or like early into the morning and then there's outdoor events. And then depending on, you know, the type of event it is, like I kind of have an idea of what I'm looking for. For an indoor event that ends at 11 or, you know, close to 11, those those events are generally like more concerts. And, you know, for those kinds of events, like everything is kind of open to me because I know that, you know, starts at seven, six, seven, ends at 11. Generally, you know, it's it's not going to bug anyone. So kind of everything under the sun is kind of available to me. And so uh, when I was starting off, I would kind of look at spaces like art galleries, dance studios, businesses that maybe had a wide open space and that were, you know, closed in the evening. You know, I'd approach owners and be like, I need a space for something for a couple hours. This is what it is. And, and that's kind of how I would move. Indoor events that kind of go late into the evening. My whole kind of thought process is like, you know, this is going to go late into the evening. It's probably going to be loud. I don't want to get shut down. So I'm generally looking at, you know, like freestanding buildings, maybe buildings in more commercial areas. I'm trying to stay away from from residential if I can. And if, you know, it is in a residential area, you know, I try to orient maybe the speakers in a way where it's causing the least amount of, you know, sound for the neighboring community. And then there's outdoor spaces. Those events will probably end, you know, by 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock. I'll look for spaces like auto body garages, you know, they have big parking lots, kind of spaces like that. And and how I find spaces generally, you know, I look on lots of like real estate websites. I'm on like Kijiji, Craigslist all the time. I go for tons of walks, virtual walks on like Google Maps and go through neighborhoods. And if I ever see, you know, like a, a handwritten for rent sign, that's kind of the thing that I'm looking for, for the most to me that says, you know, this is, I'm dealing with the owner right away rather than dealing with, you know, a real estate agent or some middle person who's trying to like broker your deal, you know, and if I'm dealing with like an actual person who owns the building, it kind of makes things a bit easier. And if it's like, you know, in the middle of the month or something, I can be like, you know, you're probably not having a tenant moving in. I need your space for like a two day rental. This is what your monthly rent is. This is what I'm willing to offer.